Welcome back everyone to this final part of the inaugural episode of the Burning Wheel Patronage. Um, let's talk beliefs. Um, so I've, I, um, I want to kind of use this space that we have on Roll20 um, to talk about beliefs and stuff. Roll20 sometimes gets weird about editing text that you put on the page, but we'll we'll deal with that if it... We'll soldier through. Yeah. Um, but this way, you know, the people watching can always see your beliefs, so they don't have to, like, randomly click around on character sheets to be able to find those. Um, but yeah, let's let's talk about talk about beliefs and instincts. Um, has anyone got anything they want to um, kick us off with? I was reading uh, the normally dwarves have a cool thing from one of their um, racial traits that mm -hmm. they get uh, access to the fourth belief okay. uh, form of an oath fortunately I'm a coward so I don't get that oh well oh. that's perfectly fine then. buddy <laughs> I'm not allowed <laughs> I'm not allowed to write an oath until I have reconciled with the long beard. So with my dad, unless I must be we become friends again, I'm not allowed to write an oath. Mm -hmm. sad for a dwarf. Oh, no. Is is that from branded a coward? Sure is. Because oaths make dealing with your greed a bit easier, don't they? <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. If you get access to your oaths, then they're really good and you can just be like you know, my oath says and therefore that is more important than greed it's like the only thing that can override greed in a situation well that would be good wouldn't it if yeah. only if only could... you could reconcile uh, Ashley can I open family family counselling wise <laughs> <laughs> no but that only tells you uh, that only tells you about knowing about family counselling Okay. I already know that. I already have hypocritical bastards twice <laughs> because of my dad. God. Wow. Very good. Um, oh, and so so from Brandon the Coward, you also have a 1D infamous reputation. Yes. With the artifices specifically. Okay. Cool. That's cool. Okay. Um, so, um, beliefs then. Who wants to? Who wants to I want saying? one about not wanting to be cold and hungry. Um, because I've been that. Okay. And, uh, uh, I've been cold and hungry. I won't be again. Um, or like cold and starving. Mm-hmm. Um, um, like there's like there's this like her her rise to being a young lady at all is based on like I don't want to starve and freeze mm -hmm. okay yeah That's and good. and so um is there like an actionable yeah that's the that's yeah, yeah. that's definitely like an like an open like an open-ended one yeah I, like you, I, it can I, be open-ended and can be something that you work on every yeah. every section oh, whatever it takes is totally legit because yeah. I, I i have a question is this a i will never be called hungry again I will make my living off my art, or is this a? I will never be hungry and cold again. I'll do whatever it takes to. No, I'm wanting. I'm wanting to set my beliefs up so that like my art and my desire to not starve to death are yeah. opposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's really but like, I think it's a thing of like you could do it. I'll never be cold and hungry again. I will find a patron for my art to pay for me. Is like mm. a. Like, that's a specifically goal about getting money, but it, it also says, like, I won't do anything other than art to make money. Um, yeah, and that's not true. Okay. Okay, okay. Right, like, cool. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. I just wanted to be like, is this a... My way... I shall make my, she will my living as She will stab a puppy in the, in the head if it means she gets cake and quilts. Okay. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like... Um... Uh, I, uh, yeah, and whatever it takes, like, like, um, it, yeah, it's almost a thing of like the art. Like, it's not necessarily I don't want to be cold and hungry. It's more I want to be the opposite of cold and hungry. So I'm trying to work out, mm. right? Like, mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah. Um, you, can always, I'm just, I'm, you can always phrase it as a positive belief and then have some like really dark instinct that's like the very other end of it. But like, mm, you, uh -huh. like the thing that just popped in my head is let them eat cake. It doesn't really work, but mm -hmm. feels very much like what this character is about. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, it's some other people. Uh, exactly. I've 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 worked hard for these, the comforts that my life affords me. I won't let them go. Um, That's really good. Yeah. Um, except I want it, like there's also the like the desire for more. Um, yeah. But that's the thing of like once you, because this house isn't yours. No, exactly. Well, it's like the thing of like I won't let this house go, and then once you actually have the house, it's like there needs to be more pretty things in my house. <laughs> mm -hmm. I need a cook <laughs> um, to make me really nice meals. Um, yeah. I, it, I I don't know. That one can evolve if. Let, that's... let me let me let me play on it a little more. Yeah. Now. yeah. Um, I have I think probably my first one. Yeah. Um, which is. Uh, uh, anything, anything in the piazza can be bought with enough silver. I will seek out my sister and secure money from her. Like, I think that's my like my first step is I need money. Yeah. To make it happen. My sister's yeah. the richest person I know. Yeah, and also she's gonna like, want you to do something for that. Yeah, and that's I think is the thing of like. I get, um, and maybe, maybe it should be like I will not rekindle my relationship with my sister or something, but like, I think it's something about like getting a deal of like she'll give me money if I do mm. X. Yeah, uh, yeah, but but like like obviously the the first step can just be I will ask my sister for money. Yeah. Um. um but I think like uh, she has to say I'll give you money if, and if she does that, then I've succeeded in my like, persona. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I think if you want the Persona trigger to be she gives you a fund or she gives you cash die, um, like the first statement of that needs to be different, right? Right. The, the, the like statement should be, I need my sister's help to, to fund whatever, mm. I will do whatever. Okay. I, uh, I, will, I will reach out and re-establish contact. Yeah. I'm just trying to think if this is... If his belief is... Actually, he wants to reconcile with his sister. Or mm -hmm. if it's... I want my sister's money. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out the kind of person he is. Um, and I've made a lot of bad people as characters recently. And I'm tempted mm -hmm. to make someone who's not all the way shitty. I mean, it's always tempting, and it never goes that way. No, no, and I think this thing of, like, he'll end up shitty, because it's burning wheel. Yeah. Um... Because it would be nice, I guess, yeah, it's the thing of, like, to have a belief that's about rebuilding a genuine relationship with my sister, and to have a belief that's about getting a fund that I can use to make my theatre. Yeah, around. and they like oppose each other. And the yeah, right. it's like the same person. It would be great for both of these, mm -hmm. but that's gonna be a real fine line to walk. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, that seems that seems a good a good. Yeah. A okay. Good so, um, anything in the, uh, in the piazza can be bought with silver, but I don't have any. Um, I will secure. A fund uh, from a patron. Um, I should... Yeah, I think that's yeah, at least the promise of a fund. But yeah, I'm gonna do yeah. that now and then. Like, um, uh, my sister and I have been estranged for too long. Successful. Um, I guess it's just I will seek her out and try to rekindle mm -hmm. our relationship. Okay. Um, I've got, I've got two. I've got, I've been cold and hungry. Never again. I will secure myself a life of luxury. Mm -hmm. 
and these fancy fucks are all knaves and fools. I will show them how ridiculous they are. Yes. And I've got the other one, which is um, all these rules and expectations are stifling. I'm not sure what the what the go-to on that is. I think it's um, uh, n no one will. Uh, no, because that yeah, it needs to be. Yeah, you want that to that to, that second sentence to be like an actionable like statement. Mm. Um. To, I, as much as I do like the first two, I think you need to be more specific with how exactly you are going to yeah. mm -hmm. get the luxury and how you are going to yeah. show their fools. There needs to be like yeah. a skill for yeah, so action. that we can know you succeed or fail, so you can get a, like. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I will make a painting that shows them for the fools they are. Yeah, that's what it is. Like, is a. It... Or is um, it like a sculpture of the Pope with a dick on his head? Like that that also achieve, uh, just yeah, it, it's what is your Yeah, I could just like I could say like through my art, but if I want to make it more specific. Um, um I'm gonna put through my art for now. Okay. Um Dave? Yeah, uh, I have two beliefs currently, and I'm working on the third. Um, my first belief is, I was always meant to create beautiful things. And I will practice my sculpting at any opportunity, is the actionable part of that. So if we ever have downtime... Mm, that that sounds more like an instinct to me. I love everyone in chat is yeah, talking about, like... Uh, is everyone in chat is talking about me using art to do ugly truths? I don't have ugly truths. <laughs> how good's your that's, how good's your perception? How how many times are you gonna have to mess it up before you learn? Yeah. Um. Okay. So boy, it's always meant to create beautiful things. Um. I will sell a sculpture. Just one. Which is needed yeah. to be sold. Someone has to find value in it. Yeah. Someone has to validate that belief for me. Uh, I guess that makes my second belief fairly similar. But uh, gold is only useful to me as a way to advance my art. I'll sell crafted goods to help fund my true purpose. Mm -hmm. So I've got to get that resources up. I think for a good reason, but also deep down, I am incredibly greedy. Um, yes. Yep. <laughs> and with my beliefs being about making money seems reasonable, even with if a, he doesn't quite know that that's the reason. Yeah, with, a, with a five exponent difference between your, your greed and your resources, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lack of satisfaction. I, I have my third belief um, written, yeah. um, which is going to be my, uh, my one that's all about putting on my show. Uh, mm -hmm. And it is. The show must go on. I will finish my first masterpiece. <laughs> I gotta write a play. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really good. Um, I gotta write a good play about some cool wars. <laughs> yeah, that's what I know. <laughs> um, yeah, and that only gets completed when you have critical success for it. I mean, I think. Or I just think the first play you write. I need to write a play that he considers good, hmm. because I think like on a failed, on a failed role, as I write something, it's yeah, just very good, or at least like it doesn't meet his. Yeah, like you could change that to like I, I'll finish my first manuscript. Yeah, I just, and, I, and I, that I finish my first masterpiece. I think is his ego. I guess it, but yeah, I need to. Yeah, so you you've got to think about like where. Mm. Where like what's gonna be fate? What's gonna be persona? Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, because this is gonna be my like belief that's like I need to write a play. I need to convince a bunch of actors to star in my play. I need mm -hmm. to get the word out that my play is happening and get people to come see my play. Yeah. Um, and then I need to put on a performance that people watch, um, and pay money for. 
and that's yeah. that's going to be the thing that is complete when I make a bunch of money from my first ever like show at my theater. Um, yeah. Yeah, like Luke, Luke has, has pointed out, if if you if you fail, then you're you're gonna make the producers. Well, that's the thing. We also love the, the show and the producers. <laughs> I'll just hate it. <laughs> oh my god! If I never succeed, if I never succeed at a, a te- at like a a playwriting test, it's like yeah, you still make plays. People love them. You hate yourself. <laughs> you make art that has none of your soul in it, and people only want that. Oh my god, I'll be Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> Just constantly having to write Sherlock stories. It's yeah. like, I tried to kill this man, and they won't let me. Ah, uh, cool. Um, okay, I think I, I have three reliefs. I'm reasonably okay. happy. I might tweak the wording, but they're the, okay. the things I care about with my character at the moment. Um, I'll um, think it's Um, um, hmm. Ash, did you get your third one? Tell me what you think of, uh, tell me what you think of these. Um, I've been cold and hungry, uh, I've been cold and hungry never again. I also cure myself a stable passive income. That could be a patron, that could be something else. Mm. Yeah. Just... Well, yeah. 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 That 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 makes sense. Um, these fancy fucks are all knaves and fools. They will scrabble to buy the art that mocks them. Mhm. I like that. I like... Um. And and, and again, it it's the same sort of uh, success triggers that yeah. Dave is going for in in like making the art and selling the art and yeah. And then all these rules and expectations are stifling. I will be applauded for my unique self-expression. Okay. I'm gonna show up at a. I'm gonna show up at a party wearing a fucking dungarees and a <laughs> wizard's hat, and people will be like, "Wow!" Me dress, me dress, me yeah, dress. right, yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. it. Yeah. Um. Uh, I think I have my first instinct. Um, always butter up potential patrons. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have soothing pilots? It's no, but I do have persuasion, Hooray. falsehood, and seduction. None but... of those are soothing pilots. No, but you know, being <laughs> handsome and flirty is a method. Um. Uh... I just want to see something about how the forgery skill works. Um, um, Ashley. Hello. Would you say it would be easier to forge something with samples of a person's handwriting. Because it doesn't specifically call that out in there, but I'm thinking that I could have an instinct of like... I I would say you can't forge without something it. unless you've seen their handwriting. Yeah. Um, hmm. So I'm trying to think of like a... an instinct of like... Okay, but... If they won't write me a check, I'll write it myself. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. And having like a, um, a an instinct that's about like stealing people's handwriting or keeping like every bit of like uh, mm-hmm. every letter I've ever been sent. Um, like I almost like if there's a way I could ever have received a piece of written like an instinct about like if ever I ever got a, a written word from a person, I have it filed away somewhere. Uh-huh. Um yeah. yeah so always yeah, I'm gonna have to, I've always keep um uh the the words people write me. Um which may also include like I stole something from some person's trash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um Yeah and and I and I guess that that sort of raises 
sort of we kind of skipped over the money question earlier but that to me implies that um like are, are we at a point where we have banks like I mean, back banks I, that are writing yeah. like like actual yeah. like 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 written I, I feel like with the discussion of like big merchant families and like kind of like every city having mints and things like that it feels like mm -hmm. Bankers are a thing that we would have started to get. Um, yeah. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's too much of a good opportunity to have come about. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dave, did you have your last belief? Yeah, I've changed some bits and bobs around. On okay, the, sure. Uh, so I don't actually care about selling my sculptures. Okay. But. other beliefs gave me inspiration for mine so uh instead i was always meant to create beautiful things someone will appreciate the sculptures i make over the tools so as soon as somebody likes one of those better mm -hmm. and my last belief which is gonna probably be a fate farm but also is important enough to the character mm -hmm. without a clear goal or well it, without an idea for how to complete the goal at this point is I'll prove to my father that his teachings were not wasted on me. No, that's it. He wants to make oaths again. Cool. It feels bad. <laughs> it feels bad, man. Prove to daddy I'm a good boy. I have my first instinct. <laughs> yeah. Always have a tasty snack on hand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, just always just like... <laughs> A cupcake. <laughs> um, she just likes sweets. She just. Uh, Great. I have. I have. The wording for my writing one is always file away samples of people's writing. Okay. Um, yeah. Which definitely means in my like office in the back of my theater where I have like all my manuscripts and all my copies of people of other plays with my like, annotated. There is mm -hmm. just a drawer. There's just filled with like files of like old contracts and letters and like s written bits of notation from like other masters, um, which definitely looks incriminating. <laughs> yep. Um, cool. Cool. Uh, that's, that's, uh, I need a third instinct. Hmm. My brain's just going back to like, thou shalt always kill. And I'm like, that's not helpful. <laughs> that's a bit, that's no. a bit much. That's a bit much. A, yeah. I, you, you might might get in trouble with that one. Also, it's quite hard to get your art bought if you murder the people mm -hmm. who art. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Nah, but then you can just steal their money. <laughs> Is it stealing if they're dead? I guess it's looting. I, I, I mean, you avoid the stealing charge, but you get a murdering and looting charge. It's much of a muchness, I feel. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. I'm trying to think. I, I feel like I should have a instinct that's a little, like, complicating of something about... Uh, Never let my art be. Never let my plays be insulted, or never let my like ideas be disparaged. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, something that's going to get you in trouble. Yeah, and like a, a, yeah. a thing. I think. I think that's the thing that matters most to him. Is yeah, that his slightly weird ideas about what theater could be are valid, and if people tell him they're not, he gets mad. Um, so. Never let anyone disparage uh, my ideas of um, the future of drama. Um, yeah. Uh, either that or never say the name of the Scottish play. Um. <laughs> Scotland? What's Scotland? How about I will not make boring art. 
That's... Or like toothless art. Yeah. I think it's uh, uh, yeah. I mean that work. Um, I think toothless art is an actual one of like you can never. Because the boring one is I will never make something kind of in the tradition of someone else. Toothless yeah. art is I will never not make art that doesn't offend someone or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's always gonna it's always gonna have a point. It's always gonna be political. Yeah, which is like always gonna make someone well, like, upset at you. If it's just like shocking, that's fine. Right, yeah, but that makes everyone yeah. upset at you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will yeah. not make toothless art. Uh, that's that's really good. Um, okay. I think I have everything written in. Yeah. I think I've got three instincts. Yeah. So so Narian's making a good point that that, that sort of that kind of um. That kind of statement isn't very instinct instinctive. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. It it's it's got to be a something happens and then you like immediately yeah. react. Like like instincts are, are basically ways for you to break the rules. Mm. Um, but I feel it's a thing of like I don't know. Like never never make. Like, you have an instinct that's like you could take a moment to have considered thoughts about what your theme should be but you're like no fuck this particular system or this particular mm -hmm. person I'm gonna make a painting about how they suck and like you launch into doing it mm -hmm. and it, it's not a it's not a one that's it's not a GM insurance instinct it's a this instinct gets me in trouble um, yeah mm -hmm. I, yeah always I, I, like Always never, if then, I like, I could e easily be like, um, I never make toothless art, right? Yeah. Like, but that's... Because I feel the, the instinct is the, the instinctual action is you launch, like, somebody, something irritates you. Yeah, so, you so... You find I, it just somewhere and you just launch into making it. Yeah, I, I, I would say the way, um, the way I would work this, word this is, like, never think twice about what the piece is about. Mm. Yeah. I'm just trying to work out what's my what's my intention with this. And it's about um it's about not being like pressured into normalcy. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it might actually be m less about the art specifically. Yeah. Um Um, hmm. uh, I think it's, um, it might almost be like I am, um, I will never be, uh, yeah, like I will never be pressured into watering myself down mm -hmm. um right ne it's, it's, never it's, bow to etiquette that's a great one i love never bow to etiquette um personally or professionally <laughs> yeah because like because the thing is i have i have advances in etiquette already like i can do etiquette yeah but i'm going to i'm not going to be forced to yeah but, yeah. And you could test it and be like, right, I do exactly not that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can ro roll um, the test to be like, what's the right thing to do here? Mm. <laughs> uh, Dave? Yeah, I've got some instincts. Yep. Um, always offer my opinion on a problem. Yep. Great. Uh, uh, well, we'll actually... Yeah. I have never, a thousand of those. <laughs> never leave something broken. It's a good one. And that's, that's one that none of the other characters should ever find out you have, because we will all take advantage of you. <laughs> yeah, especially since he's clumsy, so he breaks things <laughs> and tries to fix them. Oh no. Uh, and my last one is bring the right tool for the job 
or make one. So that's my, my kind of... If I'm going to do X, I have either got it, if I own it, or I will make a roll to try and make a kit. Yeah, no, that's really good. That's a good one. Alrighty. I'm just trying to work out my third one. Um... um... Always um, change the newest. Finbar, like... have I got... I've only got two. Uh, I have always butter up potential patrons. Always right, yes, that's the one I missed. Writing, never let anyone disparage my ideas of the future of drama. Yep. Um, I've got some high-minded high ideals about how important my play is going to be. Yep. Um, yeah, for, for... Like, something about your desire to stay ahead of, like, the curve, maybe? And, like, I feel, I don't know, it felt like there's a bit of a rejection of tradition in your whole vibe. So it's like the, what's the newest trend? How do I come out in front of that? Is that, is that like, a, a thing you're like particularly interested in? Because then Ashley gets to throw, like, weirdos at you who are like, the new fashion is going to be these this mad thing that will cost you a bunch of money and you go cool um and that will be a problem for you but yeah okay. um, i'm i'm gonna go with a thing that's in the like because none of y'all none of y'all are sexy enough i think i'm gonna go with like uh with a if they're into women they're not like i like intrigue or entrance them Right, like, but like, if I get, yeah, right, like, of like, like, oh, oh, you, you're, you go that way, right, like, fair, yep, I think, that's, <laughs> I think that's my thing, right, like, how do you, do, like, I'm not trying to like, because like, I, yeah, I just want to always be able to be like, yeah, no, like, there's a thing here, yeah. Mm. Um, hmm. I I want I want I I want people who are into women to be sparkable into you. Um, not necessarily into me, but for me to be able to like create the sort of like. Yeah. Because the thing is, that's just rolling seduction. Yeah, exactly. I want the free yes. seduction. I want the yes. free seduction. You want this free, free, free seduction. But role. you also yeah. could just, because like it's still a roll, so you still, I still get it. Uh, yeah. yeah. The, see, the thing it's is, just... I'm so used to I'm so used to Torchbearer, where the importance of the free roll is that it doesn't use a turn. You're right. Um, uh, is it something about like if at all possible, always know if a person is into women? That's a really good one. I like that. Like. Mm -hmm. Always know if so if, if, if someone would sleep with me. Yeah, instinct, uh, yeah. perfect gaydar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always yeah. know if someone would sleep with me. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but you'd just still gonna... you'd still be rolling to. Well, you wouldn't roll seduce in that. You'd roll like wises on that group of people. I guess. I have to yeah, because it's like, like, yeah, it's it. Like most of the time, I'm gonna be like, ah, yes, hello, straight man. Like, I, this is a thing I know. But, like, yeah, I want to pick up on if someone wouldn't, hmm. or if someone, yeah. And then this gets you into trouble when, like, you roll the wise, you see you fail, and you do it anyway. Yeah. 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 So, what skill would that be? I mean, it's like, it's gonna be like noble is. Yeah, it's going to be contextual on the yeah. person you're talking to. Um, because, I... like, she... Because, yeah, the thing is, she, like... Yeah, her... her the, the reason that I'm doing this is because her sexual freedom is part of that, like, I'm allowed to express myself however I mm. like. Yeah, yeah no, seduction-wise doesn't work because that's about knowing how to seduce. The, the mm. problem is with Burning World, there's no skills to find things out about people. There's no, like, observation skill or mm. well, it, of somebody skill. I guess it's that's, the... that's not a task that you can do. Yeah. 
it's it's the game. wise to know rumors and the thing is is that if you fail the test you get the wrong rumor of like oh this person's a playboy um, it's like, no they're not actually into women because you failed the test um maybe um i mean like i have gossip wise um which might i'm, I'm gonna give me a second i'm gonna make a suggestion yes um catamite wise That's I don't know what that means. No, uh, a catamite is is a is an old um, slur oh, used right, for, yes. for gay people. Uh, the yeah. oldie gay slur. Yeah. So um, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's like, like, like yeah. That or Ganymede wise. Yeah. So yeah, I think. Um, so do we think that there's a problem there where I should reword the the instinct so that it? Yeah. So it depends what you want the instinct to do. Is it to give you the opportunity to? I want to know who I can. I want to know who I can sleep with to either oh, like. Drink. For an instant. Yeah. Yeah. You have yeah. to. You have to do a series of roles to know the character. Yeah. The the instinct would be to attempt it, whether you know or not. Mm, yeah. But right. To That's actually good. find out is. Mm -hmm. There is unfortunately, and. It, and it, I guess it's saying something about the way that people interact. The way that um, work so, so may, maybe it could be something like, um, like always playfully flirt. Yeah, I mean, always, yeah. always flirt with. Um, I just have always flirt. Um, <laughs> just always yeah. flirt. Yeah. Um. Hmm. This is tricky. I'm just writing in all my skills because might as well. Um, always. Um. So tricky. Mm. Like, is it always flirt with someone friendly? Um, always flirt with the brightest in the room. There you go. Because that's going to get you in trouble when you're with husband and there's someone more interested. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's whoever's, you know wealthy, interesting, yeah. loud, you know, center of attention. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it. Um, cool. Yeah, that's, I was trying to get one that would, like, make it easier to do flirting. What I've done is made it harder to... Mm -hmm. <sighs> This is going to be one that gets me in trouble a lot. Yes. Yeah. Hey. At least I've got one that's helpful. Mm hmm. Would you like a Kit Kat? <laughs> right. Yeah. The last thing is to come up with names. And I think, I think we'll, we'll talk about I'm, that. I'm, my brain is definitely stuck on Martin for my husband. I don't know why. That's, that's cool. I think I'm going to make something yeah. excessively elaborate that is definitely fake. But then yeah. it shortens down to like probably what, like Vito or something yeah. like really short. Mm -hmm. That was the name he got called. And he was like, "How do I make this super?" Yep. <laughs> oh god! Uh, Alchemy and Ink in chat has just pointed out hashtag flirt with the Pope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. The thing is, I'm gonna be like, "Hey there, the Pope. I really think you're it's not a dick on the painting." <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, shall we do some shout outs and wrap up? Sounds like a plan. 
Um, Ashton? Yeah, hi. I've been Ash. Uh, I'm excited to play my uh, train wreck art girl. Um, you can find me at CGAC. Uh, at, um, I, I stream lots of uh, role-playing games and also PC games and sometimes uh, and other stuff. Uh, on my channel, um, A C E G I A K, which you can use also use to find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, and also Patreon if you want to uh, support me making cool, cool role playing games of my own. Um, and uh, in about half an hour, I'm going to be over at that D D podcast, running a game I've written called Oracle, which is a card based role playing game where your character is little hand of cards. So we're gonna we're gonna play that. Yeah, that's me. Cool. Dave? Oh, hello. Um, thank you so much, everybody who came, and thank you so much to Ashley Ashton and Fimba for making this really fun. I I was coming into this with, like, I was excited about the idea of playing a character that was sort of a bit outside of my comfort zone, but with the world building, like so many good ideas came off it from like the specifics about the magic and like the kind of culture it's, it's just fantastic i'm super into it i'm looking at like archaic swiss names like right now but to try and get like a legit one and i normally never bother with anything like this so i'm super Woo! um but for my stuff i'm at dave underscore the underscore human on twitter and that is the place that you can find out when we're doing bits and bobs uh, my normal Roll20 streams for this week are not on because of Gen Con, but should be back uh, on Friday on d d channel, as per usual. Cool. Finbar? Hello! I have been Finbar. Um, uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitter at FinbarDS, as it says under my face here. Um, you can also find me on the Feelings First podcast, which uh, there will be an episode of this week. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, knock on wood. I believe in you. I believe in you. I I would love to share that belief. Um, <laughs> believe in me, who believes in you. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Just don't dive out of a wormhole in a giant drill robot and punch me in the face. If... Cool. Promise. <laughs> anime fan, anime fan, Ashton. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, please go listen to my cool gay podcast. Um, follow me on Twitter if you want to hear me complain about whatever the fuck I'm complaining about that day. Come watch this show next week because it's gonna be sick. I'm so fucking high. Yeah, cool. Well, I've been Ashley. This has been my channel where you can follow and subscribe and do all of that jazz. Um, for the month of August, I am streaming full time because I have time on my hands. Um, so usually I'll start about two p.m. So if you want to come hang out and play video video games with me, come and do that. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to this. I have I have some ideas um, on how we're gonna how we're gonna start the first session, um, and then I don't know what's gonna happen. Who knows? It's going to be great. Um, yeah. There was there was one thing. There there's one one thing I want to before we close out. I want to I want to set try and set a rule for the campaign. Mm -hmm. um, and when like when we establish a new scene, um, I want us to describe the art. So if, if 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 we're in if 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 we've set a new scene inside a noble house, I want to describe the paintings that are on the wall. If we're mm -hmm. in in the plaza, I want to know what sculptures are being um, yeah. presented always... in 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 the open gallery and and all of that. Um, okay. I think that's going to be cool. Um, and with that, I think we're going to go. So thanks everyone for hanging out and we will see you next week for episode one of the burning wheel patronage bye everyone bye bye